Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk Today I'm going to bring you another kind of GIF stroke craft fair idea I've seen it been done um, quite a few times but I just thought I'd give it a go myself So I've gone and ordered these tray and glass domes from Amazon um, so I can create a necklace uh, I've got um, I've ordered two different chains, so I've got this kind of like uh, vintage, uh, I think they called it vintage bronze um, chain, which is nice and quite long, which will look nice. And I've also ordered these black chains. So um, with this, so the, the this necklace set, there was 24 in a set and you get the domes with it and they were about a tenner. Um, plus P and P, and then you, I I brought a, a punch separately, which is a, a one inch punch, which you can use the stamping up one. Um, I just didn't have one, and um, as I was doing an order, I just thought I'd get it all together. Um, the necklaces uh, were, oh, how much did I pay for necklaces? So I got fifty of these for. A tenner, which I didn't think was too bad. So it's like 50p a chain, isn't it? And then for these ones, I got five in a pack for about four quid. So that's not too bad either. So once you've made these up, you know, they are going to be a brilliant, like a one-off gifts or for a craft fair. So just whatever you've um, paid out for it, make sure you cost it out properly. Um, I thought this would be a great way to use up some scraps. So I've got a whole range of bits of scraps that um, I haven't used yet or I was, you know, I just haven't gone around to putting onto a project. Um, you can use multi-purpose glue, so the Tombow, um, because it dries clear. But um, uh, when I was looking, um, some people use the, the E6000. Um, I've never used it before, so we'll give it a go. I'll do both and then we can see once they've both dried, uh, what worked best. Lay those just out there. And then I'm gonna just try and match up some cardstock with, which one I was thinking, doing maybe. And the thing is, is because you're not using like a lot of card, you can really kind of just use those little bits of scraps that you haven't used or anything that's not not quite worked out for you yet. And mm, possibly. I kind of like this. This is great fun. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to take an end off here. Hmm, we could do some foxiness, some lines, I've got some spots, so I've got some retired DSP as well, so you can always use up scraps like I'm sure, that is probably, is it, oh look that just fits, if I want to get that tree in it, I'll do it that way. So you could use up some of your Christmas bits, make some Christmas necklaces. We've got Foxy Friends one. Just try and get the fox in on his own. Yeah, I quite like the grey one. That'd work. Oh, and this is some of my favourite DSP. Um, absolutely love it. Drink it. And I was going to give some of this a go. Oh, 
like so. So, see that silver would look really nice. I like that. And I'm thinking maybe. Don't mind. I might try and get a bit more sunflower. Like you could just, like I said, have a play. So you might find, oh, well, we'll try that. No, I don't like that. Yeah. And if you want, you can, if you want to dull the edges slightly, just with um, your dauber, just add a bit of... Dull the edges slightly. Probably add a bit more onto that. There we go. And I was thinking, because I like, do you know what? I'm happy of those four. I think. One, two, three, four. So what we do need to do is be careful. Don't damage the paper too much. Be hidden, that's fine. So, oopsie, brand new. Need to make sure you've got a bit of glue on the bottom. And I'm not sure how much you need. I think this is a resin type of glue. finger right in there and push it right down but be a little bit careful with the uh, foil paper because it does mark a bit see how this comes out now I've done that and I wanted to use a bit of Winker Stella actually make it a bit um sparkly so hopefully like a coat over with a ring still you can go as much or as little as you want and then I'm going to put a layer of glue on I'm just doing a kind of a blob in the center ish and then I'm going to squidge Squidge it down and only come off the edge. Just gonna, I've got the wet wipe here. It's gonna take off. And there we go. Let's try the next one. So I'll do the, these two with the E6000, then I'll do the other two with the Tombow. We can see which works the best. I'm going to put a bit of you know, Winker Stella on, just because I want a bit of bit of sparkle. There we go. Oh, look, I'm getting it everywhere. Right now I am.
that two done see they don't take long either do they we're only really punching a hole out so let's see about the tombow so tombow place my card in I'm going to do once again a bit of a sparkle, sparkle. All right, Phoebe. That's the cat. That's Phoebe's. Put on a blob in the middle. Hopefully that'll be enough. There's the only the difference between these two glues to start with is you can see where it's covered. Oh. Let's get another little wipe. I'm just squidging out in the um, excess. I probably put on a bit too much, didn't I? <laughs> right, we'll let that dry and see how that one comes out. So, last one. Now the tumbow, a little less than as before. That should be plenty. Kind of like watching it squidge. try too. So I'll be back in half an hour or so. I think these ones are already dry. So that is really quick that stuff. So that's pretty good. But if you don't have it, we'll see how the tombow turns out. So see you in a minute. So hi we're back. Um it's been a couple of hours um and I've let them just sit for a bit. Um, drying so I'm just moving the camera around a little bit um, the lighting I've got isn't great because it's dark where I am and I've got an extra lamp coming down but I love the way this one's come out and I think this chain works really well and then actually I love the way that this one's come out this is one that I used the E6000 glue the it, it's a, I think it's a resin glue I'm sorry you can hear um, Theo in the background but um, he's woken and he is playing, so we'll let him play. Um, but I do love how this has come out, actually. The problem I have is with the, because with this DSP, um, it is only one-sided. 
whereas with this one it's double sided so you can just see the um, pattern on the other side coming through. I love how glittery it is and actually it, I think it's okay really. Um, but I might use the Tombow I think because that's come out well. Um, and this one which is the one sided this is what I use Tombow but I think the pattern because it's on white paper I don't know if you can see it's a bit a bit glary I'll zoom, I'll try and zoom in on it um, it doesn't really notice too much so it needs a bit more or something but I think what I'm going to do is also um, order the chains that, that match these um, actual pendants because I like the the black it's okay but actually this I love I think the, the matching colour chain works really well so I will go back and have a look for those but anyway I hope you've enjoyed making these with me today um, you can see another one of my videos where I actually use a similar idea using the DSP to make some nice key rings as gifts so check that out um, otherwise it's been great I'm spending a bit of time with you today and I shall catch you next week this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's if you've never um, worked with me before check out my website at www.craftykelly.co.uk and you can find out more about me and some of the projects I do so it'll be great to hear from you if you do any amazing projects and you want to share them please get in contact and I'll share them on my blog right got to go now Theo wants me I'll see you later thanks very much bye